Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the course of Laptop Review E-Commerce app using Android Kotlin. So, as you can see, we are in the first section of our course. In this section, we will learn how to design the layout for our second activity, and then we will create a custom layout to display our web uh, view pages in our second activity. And then, finally, in this section, we will create the custom slider adapter uh, using which we can uh, display the view pages in our application. So without wasting much time, let's start our tutorial. So head back to Android Studio. As you can see, this is the, our application. Uh, in our last tutorial, we created this layout, right? And we displayed all the laptops with the names and the actual price and discounted price, right? Uh, but when we click on any of the laptop, it is navigated to second activity, right? Here. But this uh, uh, layout is empty, right? So in this tutorial, we need to design this layout. We need to create a view pages to display multiple images and some animation, some sort of animation. And then we will display here the name of our laptop. And then here we will display some description about that laptop, right? So let's start. Uh, this is our second activity, right? So here we need to create a layout. I to save time, I had already created a layout. I'll just copy it and paste it here right so this is our layout right here we ha i had created view pages by using this tag view pages you can create it in xml you don't need to uh, include any library for it just write view pages and it will be displayed and then i had created a text view uh, in this text view we will display the name of our laptop so i have given his id as name and then one more text view in which we will uh, write the description of our laptop right whatever specification it contains right here uh, so this is our layout file and i had used uh, layout as related to layout now go to our second uh one wait wait now as you can see here we had uh, used view pager but uh, view pager, pager means it contains one more than one uh, images right uh, so that we can slide uh, this way and we can see multiple images right so for that we need an image view view pager with an image view image view will contain one by one image and it will send it to view pager right so for that let's create a custom layout to store multiple images let's give it name as uh, custom slider okay Let's change its layout, its layout as linear layout and then let's create here image view because we need to store images here right let's give it name as match pan and height as wrap content let's give it id as slider images so now we will store all the images in uh, here in image view one by one and then this all images will be given to your view pager so that we can perform that view pager right uh, so now to store images into in this image view we need to we need a custom uh, image uh, slider adapter right so here i create a custom slider adapter so let's create a kotlin file here uh, let's give it a class Let's give it name as slider adapter. Press on OK. Now our class will extend page adapter. Let's click here. Uh, we will extend page adapter, right? Because we need this, this class for uh, view page, right? So we will extend page adapter. We need to use the functions of page adapter. Click on class and press Alt Enter. Now implement all the default uh, member functions, right? Uh, we don't need this to do statement. Now, as you can see here, we are having two statements, right? First one is, is view uh, from object and second one is uh, get count. So, get count uh, is used to return the size of our array, right? Uh, whatever images we are having. So, we will use return statement. And uh, before that, we need to create the object of our array, uh, which will contain the, all the images, right? So, for that, let's uh, give, create the constructor before that for our class, constructor of our class, right? So constructor. Now we need to pass here context of our application. Let's create a variable which is of context type, and then uh, let's create one more email variable 
this will need to give it name as images and this will be arranged uh, and this will be type of integer right array is always integer type right yes uh, sorry for that now it is extended from super class right uh, in uh, it is mandatory that all this uh, constructor of primary constructor should be extended from its super class like in Kotlin. So as we are using Kotlin, so we need to use all the rules, solid rules of Kotlin. So let's uh, call let's create the object uh, this context and all uh, out of this constructor. So variable context uh, which is type of context, right? And let's create one more variable variable images. Uh, are in this of uh, this type of integer right let's call this uh, context and images from this constructor so this dot context equal to context and then again this dot images equal to images images right so whatever value should be assigned to this variable the same value will be assigned to this both variables right so we have created the context of our now now we can begin the size of our array right so uh, our array object is images right so return uh, images dot size right so now it is right now let's uh, use this function is view from object uh, now it will check that uh, where we have to store this uh, all the images or variables right so this view is a view uh, in which we need to store the all the our uh, images and this p1 is an uh, any which means uh, it is an object right so it returns the value boolean uh, here we don't need to use curly bracket we can actually we can use but uh, we we contain the function of lambda function so we don't need to use that right so this here p0 which is view right the object of view uh, equals to equals to is an object right so use your uh, variable object and as here we need to pass the layout uh, of the uh, our this custom slider where we have stored image view uh, we need to pass all the uh, images from that array to here right so we need to pass here layout this layout we are using uh, let's change the layout let's use uh, relative layout right uh, it will be more comfortable for us uh, right we are using relative layout so as let's pass here relative layout relative layout Right. Right. Uh, here we need to pass the object of uh, any right. So P1 is any right. This P1. This P1 is any right. Here, uh, keep in mind here we are using tilde sign, uh, not a colon or anything. It is tilde sign. Uh, yeah, button is available at the corner below the escape button, and then uh, here. We need more one more function uh, which is instant item right uh, which pass the two parameters that is container and second one is position and return any right so here we don't need this uh, return statement uh, let's create a variable we need an variable to store of the image view right variable of image view so that we can pass the all the array of images to this image view so let's create the variable here layout uh, above we are using this so layout colon it is type of layout in future right we need to use in later to link that xml file with here to pass all the array of images so layout equals to when you are creating variable of context dot get get system service and then again context dot layout inflator service because we need to use inflator so we will use inflator service and then add sorry for that We need to pass here as layout inflator. Right. Now we need to create a one more variable which will be which will be type of view and which will contain the view. Uh, we need to link that layout 
to this uh, layout illustrator so we had created variable view uh, and object of layout illustrator dot in place right in place and here we need to pass the layout file so r dot layout dot our file name is custom slider right so custom slider right dot dot sorry so uh, we need to pass here one more parameter that is container and then one more parameter that is called with uh, uh, to root layout or what so there is not any root layout attached to this uh, xml file so i have written false here and then uh, now uh, as we need to add images to our this array right so image equals to view dot find view by id let's uh, in this variable should be variable of our image view right id so r dot id dot we created that slider image right so slider images that uh, this is variable for our image view from this layout and then again here we need to uh, use the background of our image right so image dot set background resources and images is the uh, array of uh, array right array, array of images so we will pass here position position is this variable which is integer so what it will do uh, this uh, from array it will take one by one image and it will pass to this image uh, image view right and then this image view will pass one by one image to the second activity view pager right so in this way we can create a view pager for our application right now uh, again we need to pass the container container uh, dot add view we need to add this uh, view all the image to our container right so add view we need to pass here object right view and then we need to return the view right now our program is almost ready uh, adapter custom adapter is almost ready now we need to uh, override one more function to handle some exceptions that is uh, destroy item right uh, here uh, during same we pass two parameters that is container and the position and third one is object uh, with the type of any uh, just uh, we need to uh, here pass this statement if you want to remove the item from uh, view pager what we will do so uh, container which is so container which is object of our right so remove view remove view we need to remove view right so remove view and here we need to pass your object right object kill sign object so object with kill sign and then add uh, the layout we are using so we are using ready to that so we use ready to that now i think our custom slider adapter is ready so this is enough for today's tutorial in uh, next tutorial we will link this custom this uh, slider adapter with uh, our main uh, application and then we will create a uh, sorry set view pager so hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching